What's up guys? It's been a while on a video, I apologize. I've been really busy, as you can see, with mower season. Got about 26 lawnmowers right now. Uh, yeah, so that's been killing me. Anyways, just wanted to have a video here really fast on these air tanks that I've been putting together. Um, just a portable compressed air tank. It's a uh, propane that I drain, um, paint the tank, then I put this adapter valve on here that adapts it to, I think it's quarter inch national pipe thread, a uh, little T adapter, and that puts this nice gauge on there. And then the other end comes out to your, however long you want your hose to be, just to a standard quick connect for any air tools, or you can put an air chuck on there to fill tires. Um, anything like that. And then I also have another design that, uh, with this design, you fill from a compressor. Um, but I have another design that has just a Schrader valve to fill, like at the gas station, um, or anything like that. So, just want to show real quick. Here's my compressor setup with a little air filter there, retractable hose reel. And I want to show how easily and quickly you can fill these tanks. Here's my, the adapter it takes to fill it. It's just a double-ended male air fitting. And what you'll do is have your tank shut. Try and do this one-handed. Attach to the tank end first with the valve shut. Then attach it to your compressor end. And then go ahead and just open the valve here. You can hear it filling. And I've actually got to turn my pressure up. The compressor's going to kick on here, so I apologize. And I usually go to about 100 pounds. Um, according to the internet, these tanks are okay to something like two or 300 PSI, so... Uh, I guess if you wanted to risk it, but usually you're good with 100 or 125 PSI. So we're at 80, and my compressor's actually set to 90 for air tool use, so I had to crank it up to get to that 100 pounds. At about 90 there. coming up on a hundred. So then all you gotta do is shut your valve here and then I'll disconnect from the compressor side first and then disconnect the tank side. There you go. That's all there is to it. So just wanted to show that. I thought these were pretty cool. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.